Hello and welcome to Flyers coverage of Aero 2022. Hello and welcome to day three of Aero 2022. We're stood here at the four flight stand with Josh, who is director of product for personal aviation. Josh, welcome to Aero. How are you finding it so far? It's great. It's been busy and it's been great to see people out. Excellent. So um, let's start by talking about four flight. Can you talk us through how you'd plan a VFR flight using the software? Yep, sure. All right, so we have a few different ways of doing it, but the easiest way to start is actually from the map view. Um, so all of ForeFlight is tappable when you're on the aeronautical layer, which is what we have right here. So to start a flight plan, just tap on the airport and you can add it to your route. And then what I like to do is figure out where my destination is going to be next. So why don't we say we're gonna come over to Salzburg up that one and also add it to our route. That gives us a straight direct route at this point. We have a couple different options that you can do. Um, we do have the ability to auto route um, through the app. You can have this flight plan drawer open mm -hmm. and click on routes. Right now it's trying to do an IFR but I can quickly switch that Oop. by doing route constraints, changing this to a VFR flight rule and going back and it's already plotted a route. What that will do for us is it gives us a more direct route but make sure that there's a waypoint at the border mm -hmm. um, since we're crossing between Germany and Austria. If I tap that and select a route, it will let me know with the SR-22 that I have set up that it's going to update my flight level to 095 and we've got that set on the map. So you'll see things like the nav aid, and then the waypoint that you'll use to cross over into Austria. Um, but of course, this is only half the story, uh, especially when we're planning anywhere near the Alps. So there's a couple other things that we can turn on that make our lives a little bit easier, especially with VFR flying, because we're going to be flying lower. Uh, first thing I like doing is turning on the terrain just to get an idea of where all of this is. And then if we were to go to the map layer, or map layer selector, uh, we can do hazard advisor. And we just added this, this is actually a planning hazard advisor. So right now, um, this is set to 1300 feet, but there's a slider in the bottom right hand corner, that you can actually adjust up to the flight level we're looking for. And we can see that we don't have any particular issues along this way. Of course, this is top down. Everybody wants to see this information in a profile view so they can also get an idea of where the terrain, airspace are. So if we go to profile, we have our route. Um, it's already going to show us what that looks like in here with just terrain and obstacles. Um, in the profile view, we've got um, all the points along our route and they'll show here at the bottom. We also have layers that you can turn on and off. So right now we've got global turbulence on um, not seeing any issues along our route. We can also turn on the airspace view as well, so we can make sure that we're crossing over any of uh, the controlled airspaces or restricted airspaces or prohibited that we're trying to avoid. All of these are tappable, so if you were to tap on any of these, it will actually highlight and show you where that is on the map. I chose this one in particular because it's large enough to, to see that difference, but you can also tap on smaller ones and it zooms you right there. As soon as you tap off, it will bring you back to your actual route, and then away we go. Um, but the one, uh, one of the beauties with ForeFlight, of course, is that you can file for free. Uh, we don't charge for any of the filing pieces. So we're gonna talk about filing a flight plan with ForeFlight. Um, so it's fairly easy to do. From the map view, all you have to do is go to this share button, and this will give you different options to send to different places throughout the app, or also copy, mail them. Um, but we're gonna send it to the flights view because that's where we're gonna do our filing. What that will do is it'll automatically put in the information that you had. So it's got um, our ETD, departure destination. Um, with this one, since we're doing uh, half performance plus, I've got some performance profiles built in for this SR22 that we've been using. We can see our map as well and our route. And we're happy with this one. We can just click on proceed to file. That will fill in all the blanks for us automatically. 
including things like fuel on board because it's doing that calculation for us, time en route, and then all we'd have to do is hit file and away it goes. Um, and it gets filed to all the authorities along the way and that's it. So to show a couple things that we've been working on um, along the way, we've gotten lots of requests, especially from the European community for things that we didn't have in the US. So we've been working on adding them. Uh, one of the ones that I know will make people happy, especially here, is we've been working on adding smaller fields that wouldn't traditionally have a code. So if we see Echo Delta, Foxtrot, Charlie, we've got a hang glider nearby as well as a glider port. Those will now be um, coming to the map. Uh, they're not out yet, but coming soon, you'll be able to tap on them and treat them like any other field and plan with them as well. So we've got new things coming soon. We've got um, altitudes per leg in the profile view should be coming soon. Um, we also are going to be working on better routing with visual reporting points. Um, and then also starting to work on airspace alerts as well, which we know are big over here for Europeans, especially in such dense airspace. Yeah, so if you want to find out more about Foreflight, you can always visit foreflight.com. Um, and for Europeans to do a trial, you can go to foreflight.com slash 30 day Europe and sign up on there. That'll give you access to the app to try it out. So remember, like, comment, subscribe.